unvarnished opinion. <laughs> a new what? What is um, it? I thought it over, and I decided we should put up something fun and unexpected in the office. What? Next summer, like this soma noodle slide. This is just a fun. Seriously? Pluck the noodles out of the water. It's art. It's a snack. It's just the sort of oh, thing that's to put a gross. smile on everyone's face. <laughs> no way. Why would you waste your time on it? I puddle. This place is too stuffy. I'm trying to jazz it up with some out of the box perks like those startup companies with a gibberish name. You don't have noodles sliding. Thank down you. Down. You're a secretary, and I'm the CEO. Last I checked. Oh, he's the. That model costs a lot. He's the big ball. What? Now I know you wouldn't dream of charging this to the company, right? Wow. Maybe. So much this for him being the boss. What would your father think of this? Whoa! So she told him the truth? We're picking up from the last episode. You get a sculpted yoga body, land a boyfriend, <laughs> marry him a year or two from now, quit your office job ASAP, and live happily. Yeah, that's the goal. Roll credits. Who wouldn't want that life? You're looking for an easy out. No, that's. I don't mean to chide you, right? That's BS. I don't agree the with that. Has plenty of its own mm -hmm. She's not trying to find it you out. The kids run you ragged and you feel like a zombie all the time. You don't want your husband feeling like an ATM after all. Or then again, maybe she is. <laughs> Getting married so I can run away from my job isn't the greatest coping mechanism yeah. in the world. But still. Front huh. center calendar. He's still calling her calendar? Oh my god! Seriously? Fuck you! Yo, you're not like an assistant! You're the accountant! Why are you bringing these motherfuckers tea? I would totally pee on it or something. <laughs> oh my god, now this schmuck. Hey, happy to do it. Real pleasure having you out God, gross. Sure. The hole was a dog leg, and I was down by two. I blasted that ball into the wind and took the lead. Oh, she's a terrible hype girl. She's not even kissing ass. She's sucking dick. Wait. They're hanging out. I need to know how you manipulate him so damn easy all the time. Do what to who? Manipulate Tony. I mean, you. It's like you've got him wrapped around your little finger. But when I talk to Mr. Tom, does it look like I'm kissing him? Uh, yeah. What give you that idea? I'm messing with you. I know you're just. The big pig on the uh, bacon. Oh, man, right? Okay, I guess. Oh, okay. But I bet you folks around the office hate me for it, huh? What? That's crazy talk. No, she does not. You don't care, but you mentioned it. Oh my god, the whole Instagram shit. Why is there a picture of Vertigo having dinner with freaking Sunoda? Oh no, the betrayal! Okay, what do you fix? Look at it go. I swapped out the drive and optimized your settings just to uh, And like, oh, uh, what are you doing this? Oh, hi, uh, you're my hero! You're my hero! <laughs> there was nothing. Yeah, she's taking the, the reindeer's <laughs> advice or whatever her name is. Yes, now to prepare myself for the real battle. <laughs> 
Yeah. What's wrong with bacon? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, he's like really coming out of his ass. Oh my god. <laughs> well, this is more like her therapy session, her little karaoke moment thingy with them. It sounds like, according to one of the new hires I heard talking in the hall, I'm a trip. Baby, you got back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if Tom's gonna be a jerk, I gotta marry my way out. Aw. I got you, boo. You can marry me. Well, Tom's got used to I just got no bodies. You don't just throw punches blind. You aim for the weak spots. Oh, what are they making her do? Forgive the interruption. What's this what is her plan? Remember the 300,000 yen reimbursement you wanted for that month? Has been done. What? You're gonna make the noodles? Care of it. oh, what a relief. It's about Tom down in the county. Mm. Oh, bacon's in trouble. Sports harassment. <gasps> Sexist behavior is a Finally! Lie. Don't you agree? Well, of course Mr. I Piggy! Agree, but if there's no official complaint, be making things worse by causing a big fuss. Maybe we should let sleeping dogs lie. Motherfucker wants to like freaking ignore it. You tone's behavior is having a direct impact on a female employee's mental health. Yeah. <laughs> if you do nothing, what's to stop her from going to the internet with all this? Ooh. And that was the end of our little chat. You're amazing. <laughs> By the way. Ouch. I only told the CEO the issue had been dealt with. I never said a word about it being dealt with to his satisfaction. Deviant That's a lot of monies. I, I need you to walk the uh, straight and narrow. He's not gonna make it! Just uh, try not to rock the boat from now on. How exactly do you want me not to rock it? Well, uh, be more approachable. Uh, make be sure you're more approachable. Environment. And for heaven's sake, don't bully the women. Oh! Okay, so finally we we got what we've been wanting is Mr. Bacon Pig to know his role, relax, stop being a little bitch. And I guess he's going to be nicer to his staff, or at least nice to Resco. What kind of shenanigans will that bring to the office? Is he going to be that sort of boss man person where like he tries to be nice, but it's just, it's impossible to view someone who's nice when they've been such a huge douchebag to you. That's going to create some serious comedy in the next episode or so. The odd chance that Resco was able to meet uh, Washimi. I guess she is the secretary of the president of the company she works for. But on top of that, Washimi is in entirely a very tough individual to the point where even though there's a president, she seems to be like the one in charge. So she was able to help Resco with this situation with the stupid little bacon dude. Like he needs to fall back and yeah. Now, what about Subone, the Komodo dragon lady who also picks on Resco? Is she going to be targeted as well? Is she going to be told, hey, you'll fall back, do your goddamn job, bitch? I don't freaking know. Now, as well in today's episode, Resco is still talking about wanting to date, wanting to find someone with the Immunis. And it's also understandable why, like, Washimi is telling her, like, dude, you don't want to date someone for their wealth. Or be extremely superficial, you know, you, you want to be able to be with someone you tolerate, you know? I'm wondering if we're ever going to get that, you know, are we going to be, are we ever going to see Resku go on dates? Uh, that would be intriguing to see. Alright guys, that about wraps up today's episode. Don't forget to leave me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. 
feel free to like this video or subscribe to my channel if you haven't before. And as always, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching and farewell for now. Bye-bye.